What's up everybody? Today we're checking out a really cool piece of New Jersey history. So now New Jersey has its own state dinosaur, the Hadrosaurus, more commonly known as the duck-billed dinosaur. And I'm here at the site on where the skeleton was discovered. Now this was one of the first fully intact dinosaur skeletons ever discovered. Um, in 1858, it was discovered right here in the town of Haddonfield, which the dinosaur was named after. We're going to go check out what they have here. Come with me. Right here in this little park is where the skeleton was discovered. And right here we got a picture of the skeleton and some more information about it. So this gives us the history of it. It was discovered 1858. Can you imagine that? Now, in 1858, how many people knew about dinosaurs, you know? Like, they didn't have, you know, TV, movies showing them. I guess it was kind of a relatively new thing. So if you found giant bones of a giant lizard, what would you think that they were? So, yeah, right here, they discovered them and they excavated the bones. And this was one of the full, first fully intact dinosaur skeletons they ever found. And right over here, we got a little plaque that commemorates the finding of it. Let's go get a closer look at this. Hadrosaurus foci, National Historical Landmark. And right here, in a marl pit on the Johnny Hopkins farm in October 1858, the world's first nearly complete dinosaur skeleton was unearthed by William Parker Falk. The find was adjacent to this point. It was also the first dinosaur skeleton to ever be mounted. So that's really cool. We got a little picture of the duck-billed dinosaur right there. So we have this little lookout spot. And right down here, this must have been the pit where the skeleton was discovered. Can you just imagine, you know, just seeing these bones of a giant lizard? And, and you know, back then, did they know what that was? You know, imagine that. Just a giant, fully formed dinosaur. Must have been amazing. Truly exciting thing to discover. And it happened right here. And right here on this picnic table, it looks like quite a few people have left their dinosaurs. I guess maybe as a, a tribute, or I don't know, maybe they're leaving them here for kids to come play with. But look at all these toys. That's pretty cool. Now this one right here, I think I had one like that when I was a kid and I used to play with it. It looks like there's a couple over here in the puddle. Looks like we got a Brachiosaurus. What was that one, Dimetrodon? I don't remember. You'd think I'd know being such a big fan of dinosaurs. So now not only do they have this site commemorating the discovery, they also have a really cool statue of a Hadrosaurus in the main street of the town. We're gonna go check out that next. Come with me. Alrighty, so now I am in downtown Haddonfield and not only do they have the dinosaur statue, they have all kinds of cool artwork along the street. Let's go check some of these things out. And take a look at this one, this big heart made out of metal. That's really neat. Let's see what the plaque says. Heart of Haddonfield, low poly, open heart. And you can see it's kind of this like uh, diamond plate material. Really nice. And just right up here, we have this statue of a, an old couple sitting on a park bench reading a newspaper. Just check that out. Let's walk around, let's get a closer look at them. Very cool, very realistic. And right here in front of the bank, we got a bronze sculpture of a woman riding on the back of a bull. That's really cool. So I've never been to this town before. It's a little bit out of the way for me, but it's really beautiful and it's got all kinds of really cool looking buildings in it. We got this Presbyterian church right here with the stonework and the beautiful stained glass. We have this building, I'm not sure what it is, but just check out those pillars, the Greek Revival style, kind of a sandstone color, also really cool. Oh, and just check out this barbershop pole. Oh, look at that, it even moves. That's awesome. And over here in front of this church, we have another piece of art. We have these cool pyramid shapes, kind of a rusted metal 
I really like these. These kind of look like something from a science fiction movie. Something you'd see in post-apocalyptic landscape. Cool pyramids. I like these a lot. Cool stuff. And right here we have this statue of a woman jogging. Look at her in mid-stride. You know, if you weren't paying close attention, you might mistake this for an actual person. All right up here we have this statue, which is really cool looking. Very interesting art style with this one. So it's a figure of a woman, and it almost reminds me of Han Solo Frozen and Carbonite. But just look at that like metalwork right up there. Really cool and unique. And there's a little more information on it. And right here we have this statue, which is a bust of someone. I don't know who this is supposed to be, but if you know, please let me know. And what does it say? Stanley the Witness. So I guess it's uh, Stanley the Witness. I have no idea who that is, but it's uh, pretty cool. And right here in front of the post office, we have a statue here of a mailman. And he is a big statue. He is an absolute unit. Just get a look at him. Ah, uh, here it is. Statue of the Hadrosaurus here in Haddonfield, the town where it was discovered. Just look at this thing. This is amazing. <gasps> oh, I love this so much. It is beautiful and it is huge. And just look at that face on that guy. And they even have this little water fountain here to go with him. Just get a look at this. You know, I love artwork and I love dinosaurs. So the fact that something like this exists, it's just amazing and it just makes me so happy. And just look at all the detail. Look at the, look at its tail. Look at the scales on him. Oh, this is awesome. So I guess his name is uh, Hattie, which is appropriate. Oh, and right here we have a plaque. I think this is the same plaque we saw at the uh, the discovery site. Yeah, I. This is just. This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. Just look at how beautiful and majestic that duck-billed dinosaur is. So that statue was really cool, and it's really cool to see just the different ways towns choose to celebrate sort of the odder pieces of history, you know, something like a dinosaur discovery. Um, really cool to see. So I had a lot of fun checking this out, and I hope you had fun watching this video. Thank you for watching.